good morning or evening. Merry Christmas, depending on what part of the world you are in. I did not expect to be making this video during these wee hours of Christmas morning, but here we are. Shortly after my last live stream, which I, it was a Christmas Eve stream, having a little fun live reacting to MFW's Christmas Eve vi video, Miss Effin Wonderful's Christmas Eve Mac and Cheese Mess. I received three emails from YouTube, all of which cite three of my MFW videos were in some kind of violation of privacy. I'm going to guess that either MFW herself or at least one of her loyal ride or die stands made the, the violation privacy report. The videos in question were the first two videos I ever did of hers. It was kind of like a two-part mini-series. And the Christmas Eve stream in question that I did last evening. Now, YouTube did not indicate timestamps of where specifically I violated her privacy in any of the three videos. They also mentioned that the supposed privacy violations may be in the titles themselves. Okay, the titles of the first two videos had her last name, but she's often mentioned herself that, uh, publicly on her videos what her last name is. It's not a secret. It's not a dox, but anyhow, I, ch I changed the title of the videos in question, removing her last name. Uh, I, yeah. Please note, yes, again, Katie herself has mentioned her last name on her streams on many occasions. So where is the privacy violation there, assuming that's the complaint? I would understand if I did a 411 search and found it that way. But I could be on shakier ground. But this was not the case. Forget about her last name. Katie, she always introduces herself as Katie in her videos and in her streams. YouTube has given me 48 hours to either tweak or remove all three videos in question entirely from my channel. I have yet to do so. And again, I have 40, less than 48 hours now to comply. Privacy violation, MFW, Katie, really? It's really rich coming from a woman who openly admits to doxing people and actually getting off on it. Privacy violations slapped on me from a woman who always threatens to leak private information about her own audience, let alone, your, let alone her enemies. Again, I'm really so not impressed. Last September, when I made an announcement on my community tab, uh, about a birthday stream that I was planning to do, throwing myself a virtual birthday party. You indicated that you were going to strike my channel or at least some videos that I did about you. And a bunch of other things like calling me basically a dick rider. Real classy with a K, Katie. <coughs> Unfortunately for me, learn... I do not have that screenshot and that comment was deleted either by MFW Katie herself or YouTube sponged it. The screenshot was floating around Twitter that week though, still trying to look for it and if I do find it, I will post on my community tab. So Katie, you obviously didn't strike my channel nor my videos since you threatened to do so last September. The videos in question all fall under fair dealing laws here in Canada where I live and fair use laws in the United States. I'm a commentary slash reaction channel for the most part. It's what I do. Similarly to other commentary reaction channels. There's nothing new here. So you come up with privacy violations. All my clips in the first two videos were found publicly on Twitter on a public Twitter feed. My reaction to your Christmas Eve stream was a public stream, not a leaked VIP stream. At last check, the stream is still up on your uh, on your page. Then now, if there are things you didn't want us to see in that stream, perhaps you should be careful where you film. 
This should not be my problem or anyone else's. Again, I am a commentary slash reaction channel for the most part. I cover problematic YouTubers, much like yourself. Behaviors that harm people. You definitely fall into that category, uh, Ms. Fucking Wonderful. Now, for those of Ms. Fucking Wonderful fans saying that I cover her for the money, let me show you the first two videos in question, okay? For openers, I made both videos when my channel was still at about 570, 580 subscribers. I was not monetized then, obviously. The bulk of those views came before my channel hit monetization in early September, approximately a week or two after I uploaded those videos. Then, as you can see here, both the videos are yellowed, limited, ad suitability issues. Now, let's see how much I made. Oh, wow! I got so rich off your butt, Ms. Fucking Wonderful. A grand total of approximately 50 cents Canadian combined for those two videos combined. Wow. Yeah, I'll try not to spend all that money at once. Ms. Fucking Wonderful, you have another thing coming. If you think you're going to, uh, if you think I am going to stop reacting to you or making commentary videos about you, you have not intimidated me. As a matter of fact, contrary to what certain like Charlie Gold say, I am that bitch. As to my videos, I may well have to take them down or YouTube. Will no matter, I'll live. I always do. Next, Merry Christmas to all Mad Hatters. Whether you or not you are channel members, your continued support in your own ways mean a lot to me. Thank you for listening. Now back to your regularly scheduled Christmas programming. Merry Christmas again, everybody. Bye, all. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.